Okay, okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh, my page. And we are live. My page sort of like refreshed. And I was like, no. Right, we are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. Now, if you are watching this on the replay, make sure to check the links below because there will be some timestamps depending on when you've watched these hopefully i've got them done if there's anyone else that has some spare time it would be awesome to like put some timestamps in the comments below i will try and do the timestamps so it's easier for you on the replay to actually get to the point of what we have talked about and i may also try editing little clips from this live stream so you like have the main points that we discussed so it's a lot easier um so there's also the live and also people watching on the replay so i'll try and do a few of those things now i will get to the chat in a minute let me just go to the other tabs and sort of um share this stream out here how is everybody doing i hope you're good it's currently 1 48 p.m here so it's the afternoon so good afternoon from me it might be evening where you're watching now hopefully you can hear me all right because i'm actually on the other tab now um on the facebook group live ask me anything so i'm just going to post this out on the facebook group live ask me anything live ask me anything okay let's just post this out here okay that's good let me just go across to the other tab and then i will get to the live questions if it's a little bit glitchy, it's just because I'm on the other tabs and I'll be back to this in like just one minute. Just got to get this across here. You know, just the setting up the stream and then it'll be easy and flowing. Uh, right, let's see. The description is my old description now, I think. Uh, with the links, I want the description from the other live stream. Right, let's see. Never mind. Um, let's get the stream. Down here. Copy that, copy. Bear with me. So, how is everybody doing? Welcome, Mert. How are you doing, Mert? You've actually caught here early today. I think yesterday you came in at 37 minutes and you're on here early today. And I'm actually on here earlier. Yesterday I went live at 3 pm. I think it was 3 pm I went live. So now it's 1 50 pm, so I'm a lot earlier. How are you doing, Mert? How is it going? Um, right let's just get this all set up that's posted okay so everything looks like it's all working we've got that posted there so yeah hopefully everything's all good now so any questions or anything you want to ask me anything that you want to know um maybe we've discussed it before maybe we haven't but is there anything at all you know just sort of like a little q a session maybe anything at all basically ask me anything it can be eye floats related it can be health related anything at all do feel free to ask me i'm just sorting out the description and then i will get answering all the questions i just want to make sure the description actually has everything to do with the vdm research project in the top line okay so that looks good back on one tap right mert says hell yeah i'm the first now you know what you are you are the first here today now this is a little bit bright let's just put it like that um we want good lighting so you can see me but we don't want it to be too annoying so hopefully that's all right a lovely day by the way the weather is amazing today i've just spent the last hour and a half sitting out in the sun it's been amazing yeah sitting out in the sun Probably can't tell getting a bit of a tan getting a bit of a tan the neck's a little bit red but we know you know what i mean i said right no more now he came in and um for about i'd say what i do is i basically have like 20 minutes no sunglasses 20 minutes with sunglasses on 20 minutes no sunglasses 20 minutes with sunglasses on so to get their natural rays and to get the bio photons and you know the natural rays the infrared rays and all the other colors from the sun you know you want all that natural light as well as protecting your eyes um if you're going to look at the blue sky don't ever look at the sun never ever look at the sun never look directly at the sun but if you're going to look at the blue sky then you you know if it's, if it's a plane or i don't know if you do look at the blue sky put the sunglasses on 
but um you know when you're just sitting on your chair or something just you know when you're looking straight ahead just at like your garden or the trees it's okay to be without the sunglasses it is important to actually allow your body to say right it's daytime you know for hormone production also to buy photons do you get some natural light around you and alternate it like that because there's a big problem with a lot of people wearing sunglasses all day long and see this is the problem people go so one way and that can actually have negative health benefits it's very, it's not good for the mood like if you're wearing sunglasses all day your body is basically natural right so how it describes this your body is very naturalistic so if it's dark and it's nighttime obviously the hormones which make you more tired and sleepy ready for bed come in when it's daytime right you get the boost you know you've got your cortisol and all of that so that obviously wakes you up and if you're in sunglasses depending on how it is your your body sort of thinks it's evening and it's not good for the mood so you want some natural light and allow your body to actually right you know what it's morning it's daytime so yeah sunglasses are important for protection but not three hours straight let your body know what sort of time it is hopefully i've explained that okay so right let's get to the chat mert says um I'm pretty fine. I have an online school lesson in about 30 minutes, so I might leave the live earlier. <clears throat> what I want to say is thank you so much, Mert, for being here, you know, for, the, for now and the next uh, 30 minutes. It's nice for you to check in. Now, what lesson is it? What lesson do you have? I hope the lesson goes well. How's it going for you? I'm doing well. I'm feeling really good today. Hello to Orhan. We spoke on Facebook. I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong. Now, how do I pronounce your name wrong? Is it Orhan, like Orhan? Am I saying that okay? I may be pronouncing that wrong. I do apologise, Orhan Apostu. Um, and obviously you're on the Hangout. You're on the BDM Hangout as well, Orhan. Um, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? And welcome, Gopher. How are you doing, Gopher? Rafal. Wow, I'm live. We've got it at the right time. Yeah, Gopher is Rafal. See, I'm remembering, you see? I, I, I remember everyone, you know? I love it. I remember everyone. <laughs> I try. I try to remember everyone. <laughs> All right. Okay. What time is it where you're watching from? What time is it where you're watching from? What's the weather like? It's a beautiful day here. Really, really nice day. I think it's about 24, 25 Celsius, something around that. Really lovely weather today. Okay. Gopher says. 2.54 in Poland. I'm on the live stream at the moment, but that's all right. Um, right. Gopher says it is 2.54 in Poland. Oh, yes, you are one hour ahead. OK. Mert says it's a pleasure to hear your opinions and talk with you. Mert, thank you so much. It's a pleasure talking with all of you because we've all got different ideas, different life stories. It's really good to have this live stream and communication. Yeah, so a big shout out to all of you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. What a name. What a name. <laughs> if you get people to um, say that all the time. Right. Ukraine, bad weather. Oh, no, is it? What, what sort of weather is it is in Ukraine? Is it raining? Is it snowing? Um, Mert says it's 2.54 in Italy. Also, oh, I forget that. Yes, you are Turkish, but you're living in Italy. Yes, Mert is... Um, in italy right we've got max how are you doing max hello cormac good to see you good to see you again we've got some familiar faces on here from yesterday and we're back again today um hopefully you're all having a good day and bad and bad weather in poland ah oh, that is annoying india oh my gosh now <laughs> india 6 24 pm 47 celsius Oh my gosh, I would be like a tomato, red as a tomato in 10 minutes. If I was there, right, 10 minutes. I'll tell you what, I don't wear sun cream that much. I don't wear sunblock. But if I was in India, I'd be having it on. You know, like the cricketers wear, the, the sort of powder one. That's what I'd be wearing. <laughs> You've got some mad temperatures in India. Whoa. Uh, and I always, I've missed the IPL. That's what's really annoying. I used to love watching the IPL, you know, put the TV on, watch the IPL. And on the weekends, we had two IPL games and it was at a really good time. Over here, the IPL would be like 12 o'clock midday or 4 o'clock. Um, first game, 12 p.m. and then 4 p.m. 
yeah, the IPO, I'm missing the cricket. I am a big cricket fan, so I am missing the Indian Premier League T20 blast. Um, rainy, good weather for eye flows. Yeah, but it depends, you see. What I would say is I actually am different. Like, I actually prefer the sunny weather. And a lot of people say, why? But that's because I have a lot of black floaters, and the black floaters don't annoy me when it's sunny. The six transparent ones annoy me because if I look at the horizon, yeah, the transparent ones annoy me. But the black ones don't annoy me. When it's cloudy, when it's rainy, because it's all white and cloudy, I see the black eye floaters more. So in a way, I actually prefer the sunny weather and the bright weather. But if you have a lot of transparent eye floaters, you'll prefer the cloud. And if you have a lot of black eye floaters, you'll prefer the bright weather. It's so confusing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I am well. Love your support with your channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you um burke says 356 in turkey all right vassy what's going on vassy says hello all and we've got vivek on here <laughs> oh yeah ipl might happen this year they're in talks i hope so i hope so yeah i would rather it happen i don't mind if it's you i just want to see the ipl i know it's not the same without the bars and hearing the band but i need the ipl we need the ipl to happen come on royal challenges bangalore rcb rcb <laughs> yes i am also prefer sunny days exactly when you have black floaters black strands black dots the sunny days are better because you're you're not seeing them and they're a bit more you don't see them do you you see them of course you see them there but obviously against a cloudy sky or something that looks hazy or white they stand out more um but in terms of my transparent flows, they're horrible. Like if I look at the blue sky, I see all the, the ones that I call organisms, microorganisms, you know, watery, transparent ones. They're annoying on the blue sky. Um, Islam's way, welcome to the stream. Yeah, here in India, weather 43 Celsius. So we've got Vivek in India and we've got Islam's way in India, 47 and 43 Celsius. Mental, really, really mad. We never get that. I, I don't know. I think I remember maybe two years ago, three years ago, the hottest day we had 37 Celsius, 38 once, but very rare, very, very rare. I see my floaters in all light conditions. Ah, that is annoying. I only have transparent ones. I used to have a few black dots, but I've reversed them. Amazing. You see Mert in here? <laughs> I'm not the only crazy one here. Look, look. <laughs> This stuff works. This stuff works. All right. Um, Vassy says, I also prefer sunny days. Even if visual snow is worse in sunny day, the sky is full of white small dots moving. True. Now, exactly. The blue field in Toptic Phenomenon, BFEP. I agree. The blue sky looks like a million choom, 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 dotty dots. That is annoying. But you get used to that. You see, because I've always been light sensitive. It's weird that that's just normal for me. You know the blue field in Toptic phenomenon, BFEP. It's annoying, of course it's annoying, but I, I'm sort of used to it because I've seen it since like I was nine years old. Nine years old, I've always had that BFEP. But floaters, I floaters, they came at 18, so they came a bit later. Okay, Vassy says it's raining here. All right. Um, Vivek says on sunny days, I don't even see my floaters sometimes. Awesome. That's what we want. That is what we want. Because it, you know, we need things and ways to cope with eye flows. Right. Cormac, in terms of VDM project, I think we should focus on searching for gaming streamers. I see a lot of them have eye problems, including eye flows. Right. Go for Rafal. I'll tell you what, if you can get a list, if you can compile a list of each uh, either Twitch streamer, YouTube streamer, gaming streamer who has eye flows, right? We're going to com and compile that list, send it to me, and then I'll get that across to Fabio and Adita because Adita is the manager and she will write the proper email, you know, in the proper way about the VDM research project. So it's professional and they understand what it is and then they can get behind it. Um, right. Where are we now? Hello, Florian. Welcome to Florian Muller. What do you think about Atrofin 0.01 for eye floaters in young eyes? I've never tried it. I think it can help because obviously it dilates it, but it's only temporary. And I don't know if doing that every day or regularly is good. I personally wouldn't do it. Um, is it really to reverse? Really, really? 
it will be I'm kind of kit everybody in this world. I believe you can. Certain ones, maybe not everybody, but you go on the Facebook groups, you look at me, certain ones you can reverse. Look, not a total cure, not a full cure. We don't have a total cure. We don't have a total treatment. That is why we're doing the VDM research project to look for a non-invasive cure. However, these natural ways and natural remedies in some people can reverse certain eye flows. But one thing I am for sure, right, is prevention. Anyone that lives a really, really clean, healthy diet has less eye flows coming each month from what I have seen. And also personally from my, um, what do you say, from what I've done and what I'm doing. Right. Anyone from India, please join I Floaters Sufferers India group on Facebook. Absolutely. Definitely join. Do you know what I was actually thinking, um, Vivek? Um, obviously, because this chat, YouTube sort of stops you allowing links. I wonder if I was to make you a moderator. I might think about doing that on YouTube. Then you would actually pardon me, be able to put the link in because YouTube are very strict, like any link, anything with a dot goes straight to the spam and it doesn't even show up here. And it's not like I'm in control of that. Like I can't say allow link, allow link. Basically, if anyone writes a link or puts any link in this chat, I don't know, it just disappears. Like it, do it doesn't show up. So I've got to figure out um, how to do that. Vasi says, do you play video games? No, I don't. Um, I'm actually quite strange, really. <laughs> I never really have been a gamer. No, never have. I played a little bit of FIFA now and again, but I'm not really a gamer. No, I don't really do games or gaming. Um, Rafael says, I posted some guy yesterday on EF um, group. Maybe you've seen. Um, Rafael, I don't know. I did see a few posts. I didn't. I don't think I've seen about the stream or the gamer. Go VDM, go. Yes, the VDM project. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, Max says, sorry that I have, I share my pain here, but it seems I don't have other place in May, I decide to do YouTube videos, essays on firms, but floaters on computer screen. Man, I hope I'll overcome it. OK, so um, I don't have any other place. In May, I decide to do YouTube videos. So do you create YouTube videos, Max? If so, that is awesome. Definitely anyone on here right now, if you're, you know, if you don't mind being on video, being on camera, start a YouTube channel. Tell people about your life and your journey with iFloaters we need it we need pressure groups we need voices let people know about this condition how important do you think is exercise exercise is everything right for for just being a healthy human being and especially for the eyes circulation exercise why i always say is this is my little analogy right we are 50 percent upper body and 50 percent legs legs like to stand leg likes to move keep that body moving now, bodybuilding, I don't know. It's not something that I do, um, but I don't think there's anything wrong with bodybuilding. Just be careful about how much stress and pressure you're putting in your body. Don't like go red in the face and have your veins popping out and stuff like that. Be very clever with it. But yeah, running and circulation is very important. Exercise. After all your study into floaters, what is your top natural and clinical solutions? Wow. Guest 3222. What a question. Now, obviously, I'm not a doctor, so I can't treat and diagnose. I can only share my opinion and give recommendations. I would literally have to say to you, you can't narrow it down to one supplement. You can't narrow it down to one thing. It has to be a whole holistic, a holistic whole change. It has to be, first of all, cutting out the sugar, cutting out the rubbish. It's not a simple solution. That is why so many people go wrong with it. We've got people that have benefits and have success stories, but that's because they follow it to the T, like they follow it so properly. And really, it can look crazy, but it's quite simple, right? Fats, protein and carbs, start there. Have your carbohydrates under 30 grams, no added sugar. Easy. Have fish, have liver, have meats. All you have to do is cut out the junk and the rubbish. Go back to a sort of ancestral natural diet. It's not actually hard. It's actually nice. Come on. Meat lovers on here, right? You're allowed meat as long as it's organic and natural. You know what I mean? And get your vegetables in as well. Also, my work is actually creating subtitles for films. And this month is the hardest I got. That's actually a very, very good task to do. Um, creating subtitles. Yeah, you could. Um, are you in the VDM project? Are you in the mastermind group? Because you could help with subtitles from English to Russian or 
Yeah, you could do that. Hello, CA. Hi, CA. Hi, California. Hello to Hi, CA. How are you doing? Um, what can you say about astonanthin? Amazing. Astonanthin, zeoxanthin, mesoxanthin, all of xanthins. Hi, amazing, powerful. I've got them down there in my drawer. Powerful stuff. Carotenoids as well. Um, I did a video on El Camino in November, but I didn't intend to carry on. OK, what I'd say is with YouTube, go for it. Carry on. You keep doing YouTube. All right. So welcome to the Russian viewer. I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name. Is there another name that I could call you? Like we've got Max. I can't pronounce his name, but I call him Max. To the other Russian viewer, I hope you're Russian. You could be Russian or Ukrainian. My apologies um, in the chat here. Give me a name so I can address you. My apologies. My apologies. I'm sorry. Um, you mean 30 grams of carbs. Yeah, basically it's a high fat or moderate fat, moderate protein. So you can do moderate fat, moderate protein, low carb, or you can do high fat, moderate protein, low carb. That's basically the whole way of doing it. That's a diet I've been following. Um, have you tried attending psychologists? No. Do you mean like a, a, a psychologist? Psychologist, that's the mind. No, no, no. I haven't ever been to a psychologist. No. Are you asking that in a nice way? Or are you saying it like in? Uh... <laughs> no, I haven't been to a psychologist. Uh, right. Um, Vivek says, well, I want to ask one thing. I had a small dark thread like floater in my right eye in the beginning, but now it has turned very, very light and has grown in size. Is it dissolving? Yes. So in my left eye, I would say eight of my strands, right? These were jet black. So jet black strands. I could get my notepad and start drawing. Mm, I'm going to. I'm actually going to do that for you, Vivek. Give me one minute. It may not be the best, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, all right let's see right let's see now so but yes it is a normal thing vivek that is what sort of happened that's a good thing vivek basically they're going from dark black and they're thinning out they're dissolving they're breaking up so yes that is a good thing give me a minute here i'm not the best drawer but I'm, i'll try something okay so let's say we've got black strands all like this right oh my gosh it looks like i've drawn the sun now right okay let's put before and then after right okay now broken up right so that's probably terrible basically what we're looking at there is jet black dark right and then them strands have now sort of broken up and look like that so you can imagine now they're fizzing out they're dissolving but that's the thing when the floaters are dissolving because they're actually dissolving so they go from jet black but because they're dissolving they spread out so you think they're getting bigger so the strands let's say a strand is like that when it's dissolving it breaks up like that so that's a strand yeah and then over time it breaks up so you think it's actually got bigger but it's actually breaking up into little bits and they, the black ones, are the collagen ones. Some people don't even know what black floaters are. There's people I've talked to and said, what? You can get black eye floaters? Yes, you can get black eye floaters. There's some people that only have transparent eye floaters, but you can get black dots and black strands. Yeah, um, right. I must get back to the chat now. Let's see here. Terrible drawing, probably, but I think you get the idea. Um, like that. Now, the black dots that I got rid of, um, now I don't know whether they blood floaters or were they vitreous floaters. They could have been blood floaters, but I used to have like real small black dots, like lots of them, like they're still really small. Them ones have gone, the small black dots that I used to have like that have gone. I would say 12 of them, definitely 12, definitely 12 of them have gone. I had 12 like that, right? Cured, reverse, whatever. 12 of the black dots like that cured reverse treated whatever the strands obviously i have a lot of strands i still have a lot of strands i still have a lot of strands so i have basically that's the strands how they used to be at the beginning and that's the strands now so obviously they've got thinner they've got more gray they've gone lighter in color so yeah 
Um, and then I also have six transparent ones. We all know what they look like. They look like this. Oh, no, I can't even draw them. I might try and draw them, actually. And then I obviously have six transparent ones like that. That's the best I can draw them, the wiggly, squirmy ones. I have six of them. So we've got, I would say, these strands here. These strands here. I would say I've got about 15, let's say both eyes, 15 strands and six transparent ones. That's roughly, roughly. If I go to a bright white wall, I could tell you more accurately. But I would say 15 total strands and six transparent, right? But bear this in mind. This is my strands now, right? This is how my strands look now. More grey, more broken up. But they used to be jet black and long like this. And I have six of these transparent ones. Sadly, they haven't changed. I have six transparent ones and they stay the same. And over even doing this diet, I used to have three over six months. Over the last six months, I've got three new transparent. However, what I accredit to the diet is no more black eye floaters, right? Why have I got no more strands? No new strands. These strands are getting better. And they're from the beginning before I started the healthy diet. No new strands since doing this diet. No black dots since doing this diet. Coincidence? I don't think so. Right. Right, let's get back to the chat. Hopefully that was helpful. I do apologise if it wasn't helpful, but hopefully it was helpful. Right, let's go back to the chat. Um, Vivek Kuma says, well, oh no, I guess I did answer that. Um, Elvin, welcome to the stream. Elvin Zapano, how's it going? Elvin Sapno, Yo Cormac, are black floaters usually near the retina? They can be, they said in the retina, but I believe they're collagen fibrils, so they can be all over the vitreous. How many subscribers had positive results from your method? You know, bro, I would say 600. 600 people have had a reversal in the small black dots and about 200 have had vision improvements. I could give you a big breakdown, but off the top of my head, um, there's even more. But if I just want to tell you right now, 600, I definitely know have done this diet and had amazing experiences. You can go to the group. You can go to keto diet group. You can go to ketogenic groups, groups that aren't even to do with eye floaters, right? Just go into the carnivore diet, go into the ketogenic group, go up to the top, search eye floaters, success story after success story. But from my methods and what I'm telling people, about 600 have had amazing results. Right. So um, how many? Um, I'm trying to be optimistic, but my doctors keep telling me that. Of course, the doctors will tell you that because that's what they read from the medicine books. You know, it's not the eye doctor's fault. Don't be annoyed at the eye doctors. It's just sadly the medical literature is old, outdated. No one. In all the years, there has never been a proper study on the vitreous. There has never been a proper in-depth study on the vitreous. It's just thought, oh, just something in the middle. They care about the retina, the macula. So the information that they have on the vitreous is outdated. And um, that's why people don't believe things. And then people say, oh, you can't do this. You can't do this. Right. Hate my life. Can't be positive no more. No, 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 no. Never hate your life. Be thankful for the things you have. Yes, I float is annoying, but you're alive and you're living. Trust me, it will get better and it will get easier. Vivek says, yes, yes, this is exactly what I was talking about. You got that right. How long floaters used to annoy me a lot, but now it has got thinner and lighter. OK, here we go now. Is someone going to come on here and say, I'm a liar? Is Vivek a liar? Is 600 people a liar across the world? No, we are seeing a real change. Something happens in this body from what we're doing and it starts changing the eyes. Floaters can get better. People think floaters just get worse. Maybe down the line when you're older, I don't know. But I, I know that maybe you can have a period where you get better. You can have a period where you slow down. You know, we're all in this trial and error. We're all trying things out. Right. Gopher Rafal says, I think the vitreous 3D imaging will be a huge step. Exactly. That is what we are working on towards finding a goal. Right now, we don't really have an option to find if certain supplements help to dissolve some floaters or not. Exactly. There is no there is no study that says supplements don't work. There is no uh, studies that say natural ways don't work. So don't ever write anything off. There's no there's nothing that proves it, but there's nothing that disproves it. We're in like in between. There's nothing that says when the literature comes out, and says it does work or it doesn't work. Then that, then that makes sense. But I know once we get these studies, 
you will see certain little nutrients, certain little things in combination with things can definitely help the vitreous and definitely prevention is what we all forget. Preventing eye flow is eye flow is prevention. People are always focusing on a cure. Look, don't get me wrong. The cure for eye flow is so important. But can we prevent them? Can we stop the ones that we've got right now from getting worse? Can we slow the progression? In my opinion, yes, we can. And we could do that by this natural diet and natural way. Um, Hi CA says, um, I go to a Chinese doctor tomorrow and ask for this advice regarding my flow as I'm excited. Hi CA, good luck with that. Let me know how it goes. That is very good to hear. Mert says, I stopped seeing some of my transparent floaters, but I can only see them only when I narrow my eyes. Is that also a sign of this? No, no, no. That's just because of the light. You know, when you squint, they look bigger. That's just because of the light is like, um, it's pinpointed it's made smaller so it sort of magnifies them so yeah that's not a problem also got floaters after lifting weights yeah that could be a lot of pressure maybe the swelling and putting it on the vitreous um with imaging you will have a tool to prove to prove that lifestyle can change floaters exactly that is what i've been talking about from the beginning do you remember way back way back when i started this channel i said I want to have a trial. Obviously, I can't do it. I don't have the finances. I don't have the money. But hopefully with the BDM research project, we can do all these trials. We can all do these experiments. Oh, it'll be amazing. Real trials, trying this supplement, this supplement and this diet. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Um, do you enjoy your life now without being annoyed by floaters? Well, I have a lot of floaters. I have a lot of high floaters, but they don't annoy me. I enjoy my life. I don't let them get in the way. Um, so do you enjoy your life? So I've got a lot of eye floaters. I've got rid of 12 small black dots, but I still have strands. I still have eye floaters. I still have a lot of eye floaters. That's what people get wrong. I haven't cured eye floaters. I haven't cured them. I have obviously made them a bit less, um, obviously dissolved them a bit or, as I said, a bit thinner. But this isn't a total cure. I haven't fully got rid of them. How myopic are you, by the way? Not myopic at all. 20-20 vision. Mad, isn't it? Elvin and I have perfect vision, 20-20 vision. These are blue light blocking glasses. No prescription, no magnification. Yeah, 20-20 vision. <laughs> Welcome, Florin. How are you doing, Florin? Hey, bro, what is good? I'm doing very well. How are you doing, Florin? Welcome to the stream. Mert says, I better go now. My lesson is starting. I might come back later. Take care. Mert, thank you so much for being here. Good luck with the lesson. And I hope it goes really well. And take care, Mert. And if I see you later, I will see you later. Take care, Mert. I will see you in a bit. Bassi says, is somebody deleting comments? Two of my important questions got deleted. Uh, Vassy, no, 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 no one would delete. Oh, wait, do you mean on this live stream? Vassy, like your comments on this live stream? No, no, nothing should be deleting comments. Basically, there's just me here. No moderators, nothing. And I don't have the option. Well, I could delete a comment, but I don't delete any comments um vasi unless you put a link or put something in and youtube just didn't show it youtube basically don't publish or allow any comments to come into live chat that they deem i don't know a problem but no one's deleting comments no no one's deleting comments um florence says my starbursts are less annoying than two weeks ago it seems bfep harder to notice what have you been doing that is very promising that is very good to hear what have you been doing florence i'm very pleased to hear that I'm so happy that Polish University is working on 3D imaging. I have to go there someday and talk to those guys. Absolutely. Rafal, absolutely. George Rafidi says, how did you minimize your flows? By everything that I'm saying on this channel, links in the description, Google documents, the diet that I follow, the supplements that I follow, and everything that I say on this channel. George, it's all down below in the description. I've got the supplements. I've got the products that I use. It's a whole total thing. It's not one fix. It's not one solution. Now, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like reversing some floaters and obviously making the ones that we've got a bit less, um, obviously, noticeable. And that it's not a total cure. It's not a total fix. Now, I want to say we've got 19 people watching. This is the most that I've actually had on a stream. So this is a really good time. Usually I do them at 4 p.m., 5 p.m. But obviously 2 p.m. UK sounds really good. So hopefully I can get to everyone's question hello strong enough how are you doing welcome to the stream um if i have a middle high myopia is it still possible for me to you i don't know i can't really answer that um because if you're obviously high myopia and you've got a prescription i don't know i would say 
having eye vitamins and eye healthy foods and for the whole body is very, very important. Um, Florin says, Beamer using the bell on my head and my eyes. OK, welcome, Susan. My first time watching. Hello. How are you doing? Um, Vivek says, hey, Cormac, do you also see some tiny droplets like water since my float started getting thinner? I see something like tiny droplets of water. Is that like when they move down on the sort of a blue sky? I don't know. I wouldn't see, maybe it's sort of water, but I don't. That would be the transparent one. I don't see anything beside them florence says something is happening with the eyes as well seems like they are somewhat start to melt the vitamin c high doses are reaching the eyes much faster flow is starting to melt you see just what's amazing there's people that have amazing benefits with vitamin c you know certain people have had problems with their retina right they've been told that the retina wouldn't get better they've had high dose vitamin c and had amazing eye benefits so florin that is definitely something that can work and definitely true Vitamin C is so important, high vitamin C. And also for prevention, you know, as you're aging or getting older, if there's anyone older watching this, make sure to have a lot of vitamin C, a lot of zinc. You know, collagen is really important, high hyaluronic acids, so like the collagen, um, sort of calcium like that. Yeah, right, okay. But the middle high myopia itself isn't an obstacle to curing eye floaters. I have no other problems. Um, I can't say that for sure, but I would say, try it out the only way you know is experiment try it out a healthy diet and a clean diet and a clean living cannot hurt anyone right high sugar you know leading to diabetes and all this rubbish that's what's going to cause trouble you know eating lots of healthy fish and high antioxidants fruits and vegetables is key that's what we need in this um society and day and age you know not all these fizzy drinks with all these chemicals and that and preserve airs. um right yeah, we'll get some hyaluronic acid as well and taurine. Yeah, taurine's very good. Um, if you eat liver, if you eat any organ meats and liver, this is what um, is the key thing. Um, you know, liver and anything to do with liver is very, very important. Anything to do with liver is really, really important. Um, right, why did that do that? I don't know why that did that like that. OK. Um, no, no, not at all, Vassy, not at all, Vassy. <laughs> um, right. OK. In Germany, we have free D O C T. Do you think it is the same like the VDM project will find? No, it's a bit different. The free D O C T is OK, but the free D imaging is just going to be for the vitreous. The O C T is a bit for the retina as well. Are you going to make a video about 3D imaging to show how important it is? I think there is still a lot of people who don't really understand why it's a first goal of VDM project. Yeah, the thing with that um, referral is, you see, the VDM research project are working on a channel, which I am part of as well. We're working on a channel. The VDM project wants to launch a channel, so I just need to see what videos they're going to put on the channel and also about 3D imaging. But I may make a video on the 3D imaging and why it's important. And sort of go through the research on the 3D imaging of the eye. Um, Vivek says, no, no, they look like small droplets. Every now I see two, three, then they get absorbed by the vitreous, but I'm exercising my eyes every day. I'm not too sure about that, Vivek. No, I don't think I've had um, droplets like that. No, no, they look like droplets every now and then. No, I don't think so. Uh, Max says, how to prevent eye floaters if i have to be in front of the computer screen all day right when you're in front of the screen but i downloaded flux and going to buy the glasses right this is the thing blue light blocking glasses first of all flux that's what you can do f dot l u x and blue light blocking glasses on your pc laptop on your phones everything every device that you use get the blue light blocking filter and if it's night time use night mode have these blue light blocking glasses and when you're on the PC, if you have to work from the laptop, make sure to take a break. Look into the distance. This is the key thing. Have a one minute or two minutes where you just stare at something really far in the distance. So your eye muscles and everything's engaged for really far in the distance. Then in another 15 minutes, have a two minute break where you just give your eyes a rest. Just keep doing that. It really will help because you don't want to strain your eyes. The reason people get eye strain is um, because they stare at a computer all day long without taking breaks. The thing is, in lockdown, I obviously exercise my eyes a lot and look outside and do other things. I'm on the laptop a lot, but I'm very 
you know, I always take breaks or I go on my phone or I look at, over here. I don't ever just stare. You know, when your eyes are like that, and you're just staring, you're not blinking. That's what can um, cause a lot of trouble. So it's taking breaks and things. Um, have you got into meat diet? No. The carnivore diet, I haven't done because it's very strict. It's, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, meat, meat, meat. It's, it's hard to sort of plan out. And, you know, I really like blueberries and antioxidant vegetables and antioxidant fruits i don't think i could do the all meat diet i don't know but people are having benefit on the carnivore diet because it's across youtube you know what i mean we've got sixty thousand, hundred thousand people you know having amazing benefits there why do you prohibit rocking on runny terrain and black wicks um right so if you have got a pvd posterior vitreous detachment that section is mainly for you but i would say um the running on rocky terrain is okay, but it depends. If you're high myopia, if you have myopia, high myopic, even like really shaking the body and jogging a lot, the vitreous does bounce. Um, and you can sort of see this from eye doctors as well. So I would say it depends. If you're 20 20 vision, healthy eyes, a bit of rocking is okay. Like running is not okay, but if it's really rocky terrain and you're all shaking, that's not good. Um, so it's more for the myopia people and also people with like PVD um do you think depression loneliness and anxiety contribute to new flows yes i do the anxiety you're more aware of them but the depression and loneliness causes a lot of chemicals and moods to be very down and negative so i do believe it could be a causing factor um how often should i take breaks well what i'd say is i'd say have a little timer right whether it's a to-do list whether it's a productive app you can get apps on your phone. You can have it on your PC. You can have something called a PI Reminder. That's the app that I use. I think it's called that. Um, PI Reminder, and it will just pop up. Take a break. Take a break. So I'd say you're on your PC. I'd say you're using your PC 30 minutes, every 30 minutes. So I'd use your PC. You know, you're doing everything. Look out into the distance for about one minute or two minutes. Back to your PC. Then maybe shut your eyes for a minute. Back to your PC. Just you know, take regular breaks, change your optics, maybe get a drink of water, maybe get some fresh air in the garden, maybe open a window. You know, just keep taking breaks and also keep moving your legs as well. You know, do stand up, move around, because that's also very good for the body. Um, too much close up work is bad for everyone's eyes. Yeah, exactly. But this is the thing. I think we can all agree on this. If you've been staring at a phone, if you've been staring at a laptop, let's say you're one hour straight, look into the distance, right? Obviously, the things that are far in the distance aren't as clear. But as you stare at them, they get clearer and clearer. So it, it just show you what I worry about is the new generation, the younger generation, the five year olds, the six year olds, the seven year olds that have got iPads. You see it all the time. Do you, do you know how many people that I've just got friends of friends that obviously have younger brothers and sisters and even some of them have got children? You just see them with big iPads all the time. You even see celebrities doing that's not the worst thing, right? You know all these celebrities? You've got their children on a big iPad. Like I'm talking about the big iPads, like five years age, watching iPad this close as well. <sighs> I really worry about them. So all these younger children, right? Excessive blue light, right? Lots of blue light getting into their eyes. Then you've got the brightness that is high, which is, in my opinion, like frying the eyes. It's going to cause dry eyes. And then you've got the close up vision. I think what we're going to see is anyone that is between the age of one to seven or one to twelve. And then anyone that's born after that, you know, the new babies and anyone between one to 12, they're going to be having glasses when they're 20, 22, maybe 24. They're going to be, you know, having prescription glasses. They're going to be having everything. Obviously, these are normal. I don't have any. I'm lucky I have 20, 20 vision. But I'm saying the newer generation is going to obviously have all sorts of problems. And I believe floaters will rise. Eye floaters and eye conditions will go on the rise. Definitely 100%. In my opinion, in my opinion, I think eye floaters, myopia, and all sorts of things like that are going to rise and go on the rise 10 years' time, 20 years' time. That's when we're going to see the peak. Like in 10 years' time, 20 years' time, if we don't have a cure or a solution, there's going to be massive amounts of trouble and damage. And there's also people that will say, oh, they've done a new study on blue light. It's not damaging. But look who did the study. Who did the study for the new thing about it not being damaging? phone companies, laptop companies, you know, organisations that are involved in software. Of course, they're not going to want you to know it's bad. I think we all know that what can happen. You go back to the original study, they shined blue light 
and it damaged and killed photoreceptor cells in the retina, right? And photoreceptor cells in the retina don't regenerate. They don't regenerate. So once they're dead, they're dead. So excessive blue light, obviously, over a period of time, is very bad for the eyes. It's not like a sudden thing. It's like a lot of people could stare at a laptop and computer and not really have too much damage. But when they're 60, 70, they could do. So it's important to use filters and know how much you use these phones and devices. Right. So well, we've talked about some good topics today. You know, we've got some good questions answered. It's been a good live stream. We've been on here 45 minutes now. We'll be on here for a little bit longer. Um, looking into the distance without glasses is the same as with glasses. No, Vassy. Try and look into the distance. If you're myopic, right, try and obviously take your glasses off and look into the distance. Get your eye muscles actually working without the glasses. You know, um, you could look up Jack Stainer as well. People have actually reversed their prescriptions and, you know, got their eyesight better. Um, Vivek's doing that as well. Vivek is doing the thing. Jake, I keep calling him Jack. I think he's called Jake Stainer. Look him up on YouTube. Um, Rafael says, I would like to know, what do you think about dopamine fasting? um yeah i'm not too sure about that um rafael i'm not too sure about that see i don't think there's any correlation no i don't know much about it but i don't i don't know i'm not too sure rafael that's okay for asking that but i'm not too sure about it i haven't done any research i haven't had anyone actually say any benefits or anything like that so i'm not too sure vivek says yes if you are myopic then you can look into the distances with your glasses on um george says if the floaters appears due to high white blood cell count, can floaters disappear when antibiotics is taken? No, 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 no. Antibiotics causes way too much trouble. There is so many people on the Facebook group and people that message and say new eye floaters after antibiotics because it destroys the gut flora. I would say certain antibiotics can actually cause eye floaters. And I wouldn't actually worry about a high white blood cell count. All that means is your body's been fighting an infection. And they go back down afterwards. It depends. What is it an infection? What, what is the issue that you are suffering from, George? Um, Vivek says our eyes were designed for natural light only, not for blue light from PCs and mobile. Very good point that you've made there, Vivek. A lot of people right say, oh, there's blue light in the sky. Oh, so there's blue light here. But it's very, very different. See, when you think about it, I, 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 I think I did a video. No, I didn't do a video on it. I may have mentioned it in live stream. That sky, yeah, you're not staring at it right here, are you? And also, you don't have a bright blue sky at night time, but you have a bright blue screen and you have a bright, bright blue phone at night time. That's where it's very wrong. That's another thing, right? People that have really dark rooms and have a bright TV screen and a bright phone. Like, how crazy is that? Your body's saying, OK, it's all dark around me. Night hormones, sleep hormones, eyes relax. And then boom, and you're just shining bright blue light at it. It's, it's, it's not good for the lens of the eye or the retina as well. Obviously, it's bad for the vitreous, but think about what it's doing to your retina. Think about that. It's nighttime, it's dark, but you're shining blue light. Never do that. If you have to stay up late, if you have to be up late, what I'd say to you is have a light on in your room. Have at least some light on. Have low brightness on the laptop. Have a blue light filter on. Then you can do your work in that. But try and get a good night's sleep and don't just have big, bright blue light on obviously onto your eyes it's not good for the hormone levels as well it can mess up everything um hello to k gaban welcome to the stream k k gaban where can i get the anti blue light glasses link in the description hopefully they deliver i've got a link down there it says blue light blocking glasses and these ones are um juco they're from amazon now depending on where you live it might take you to the amazon uk site but just click that link and see if it delivers to your country. But Amazon, Amazon delivers everywhere, right? And that link will take you to Juco. Now, if that link doesn't work, then you can just search Juco blue light blocking glasses on your Amazon and then it will come up. But go through that link and and it basically is these right here. The very ones that I'm wearing is down below. There's a few links down there, but just if you go line by line, um, you will be able to see it. Any tips for improving acuity what worked for you um vasa you're talking to vivek aren't you vivek uh, vasa i think you're talking to vivek because he is um myopic i think so um flory florian you know we've got someone in here called florin and then we've got florian we've got florin florin and then we've got florian so we've got florian muller um, who says the X flows to research project in Germany 
will cure life below. So it's 3D OCT and thermo laser. The research project will end in summer 22. Yeah, that's interesting. That's a new laser that's going to come on the scene. Now, I don't see that laser is a bit higher powered, but it's meant to pinpoint. I just worry about it. it could be a bit dangerous, that laser. I don't know. I don't know. We we'll have to see how it goes. But any of these lasers, they're not, they're not, you know, approved as safe. They're not like fully approved as safe. Um, K Gaban says, thank you, I will. Yeah, to anyone actually watching this video, always check the description of this video and all the videos. Basically, I have everything down there. I wish on YouTube that you could highlight things. I wish you could underline things. I wish you could make things bold. Let's hope YouTube do an update in the future. But um, if you have a good look down there, I've basically got the title and the links for all of the project uh, um, products, supplements that I take. Um, not sponsored, no brand deals, no sponsorships. These are actual products that I use. These are actual supplements that I recommend and take. They, I know them to be safe. No adverse reactions. Do you know what I mean? These are everything in that description I use currently right now. OK, so any other questions? This has been a really good stream today. Let's just check my phone here. Any questions, pop them in the chat and I will get back to them. OK. OK. OK, any questions or anything, you know, is there any questions that you have about your eye flow? Is there any questions you want to ask me about my life, diet, anything at all? Any question as we're on here right now, do pop the question in the chat. I answer everything and anything. Um, I try my best anyway. Um, right. OK, so Rafal says, what do you think about fly study? I've seen that results were promising. I'm not too sure about is that with the gold nanoparticles or is the fly study different? I might not know about the fly study. I might look into that again. Um, Florian says. Florian says, yes, I read about x research. Is it really working out in a positive way? Um, Vasi says, what hobbies do you have? Well, I have a lot of hobbies. I love running. I really love long distance running. Like I'm talking about 6 km, 7 km, even 10 km. But that was when I was really, really training. You know what I mean? But regularly, um, about nearly six days out of a week, you know, five times a week or six times a week, I do a 2 km. 4km, 5km. I really love running, long distance running. I also love um, football, which I can't do at the moment because you can't meet people and play as a team. I also love cricket, that I can't do at the moment. And I like boxing as well. Don't worry, we're not hitting heads. We're not hitting heads. But I like um, obviously holding the pads, doing a bit of boxing, doing a bit of moving, you know, anything really fitness wise like that. Um, you know, yeah, just keeping active, really keeping fit. Okay. I'll be back. I'm not going to end the stream. I'll be back. Wait. Um, I will be back. Just give me one minute. I will be back. Get your questions in the chat and I will answer them. I've just got to do something quickly. Give me one minute.
back right can everyone hear me right i am back hello 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 right hopefully that's is the mic okay right i'm back okay okay um nope flies will suck the orientation trial for the reduction of visual disturbance in associated with vitreous flows flies right i don't think i must have read that though. i've read a lot of research studies i don't know if it was called something different but i will definitely look into that again right okay um fly studies related to some iron shots i guess good for you stress from eye float has led to my problems with blood pressure did you have something like that no with me right what i would say is right obviously i believe high sugar diet was the cause of my eye floaters and screens obviously um do you know laptops computers at school at home not knowing anything about this sort of stuff so i believe the first main reason i would put above everything high sugar horrible unhealthy rubbish junk diet that is the main leading cause for my eye floaters the second cause of my eye floaters is screens and blue light in my opinion that's the two that i believe um are the main cause of my eye floaters so for you you have said blood pressure exactly high blood pressure will obviously contribute to eye floaters high uh, sugar levels will contribute yes um high blood pressure is obviously it's very damaging you've got to really keep your blood pressure right if you have super high blood pressure it can actually damage the lens of your eye the, the lens of your eye can swell high blood sugar high blood pressure the lens of the eye swells and also you can actually damage the uh you can actually damage i'm answering it now mind please dude about pressure that's what i'm answering now yeah um, blood pressure um yes high blood pressure high blood sugar both of those things cause swelling and inflammation in the eye and if your blood pressure gets too high it can actually uh, cause your the actual vessels in your retina so the blood supply to your retina can actually cause them to swell and it can actually cause a bit of scar tissue so obviously if let's say now every single day your blood pressure is right right up here for a month that's very damaging so you want to get it down to here and normal so for a healthy blood pressure again you want to have a keto diet but you want to have fasting you want to have maybe two meals a day you know have a meal at 12 p.m then have a meal at 6 p.m then do a fast from 6 p.m to 12 p.m 12 p.m is your breakfast your dinner 6 p.m then around from 6 p.m to 12 p.m and with the blood pressure what you want to do is for the blood pressure in the morning you want to have a ginger you want to have about four to, uh, spoonfuls about that much ginger four of them four of that much ginger and you want to mix that with water in a tea you want to drink that you want to drink green tea um, for blood pressure you want to avoid sugars you want very low sugar you want to avoid fizzy drinks um, any junk food crisps potato chips all of that stuff you want to avoid so get your blood pressure down and do it naturally i would say if you're on blood pressure medication try and you know lower that but obviously go down it in steps with your doctor obviously consult your doctor consult your nutritionist and sort of cut down the amount of blood pressure medication you're taking as well as doing natural things to help it uh, ginkgo biloba um, is very good for blood pressure so i would say ginger ginkgo biloba obviously potassium magnesium sort <clears throat> sort your blood pressure out and that will have a great positive effect on the eye floaters um welcome ali barber how are you doing ali welcome to the streams will stress floaters go away um it depends what type they are what if we sign a treaty with some big research organization that they give us a cure for eye floaters in return we will donate our eyes whoa <laughs> vivek how do you think of that sign a treaty what <laughs> oh dear oh vivek <laughs> How do you think of that? Line strands, right. So I have a lot of strands, but they got better. Now, Ali, how long have you had your strands? 
And also, Ali, how black are your strands? Um, I should really do that. I need to look in these again. Right, so, as I said earlier, this was my strands before. Three years ago, this was my strands. This was my strands three years ago, right? And this is them now, over here. Obviously grey, thinner and more broken up. Okay, now two months and transparent. Right, so I have transparent ones like this as well. Now, what I would say is the same as what I told everyone else. Healthy keto diet. Have you downloaded the, basically down below, I've got the Google document. Save the Google document. I've got two Google documents. Make sure to bookmark them, save them. One is about all the supplements. And then the other one is obviously the diet ingredients and foods to avoid and then ingredients and foods to actually eat and that are good for you so make sure to check out them too in the description box below click see more and they will all be down there i can also go through some supplements with everyone keep hydrated two to 2.5 liters of pure water per day how many people myopic how many myopic people here yeah how many people are myopic i'm not so you know <laughs> so i can't put my hand up for that but how many people in here have myopia ali trust me trust me ali if you get on a healthy diet that will help with the mood and anxiety depression anxiety all anything to do with the mood is worse when you're eating high sugar and high salt get the sugar down get the salt down and trust me look i was a sufferer i know what it's like i know what it's like look right now if i have high sugar high salt my anxiety is all over the place control the anxiety control the mood ali trust me a healthy keto diet is something that you want to look into hello chill man wow chill man it's been a while it's been a long time since you've been on here how are you doing chill man um hey wonderful people hope you are doing fine during these corona times for eye floaters until there is a cure you must stay optimistic if your eye doctor says you are fine i have i know a lot of stories where people had normal lives with severe floaters including my parents by the way it is fun to study pharmacy via distance learning do you work or study from home um chill man are you asking me or <clears throat> do you work or study from home me um obviously i can't do my day job at the moment so i am at home and i can't go to college because of the coronavirus so obviously in the day i've got online work and i've got a plumbing book so obviously i read the plumbing book because i'm an apprentice plumber i want to become a plumbing and heating engineer so i'm obviously doing a course for that but in terms of my day job i used to do plastering you know i plaster people's walls paint people's walls flooring floorboards you know decoration home renovation Obviously, no one's going to let you in the home now. That's meant to pick up a bit. So maybe I'll have work soon. So, yeah, at the moment, I have no work, no income. Well, I have a bit of income. Um, but, yeah, I am at home. I stopped playing games console as the more I play, the more I see flow is good. So you want to obviously um, night the temple. You obviously want to reduce your time that you actually, you know, on the games console and the PC. Hello to Ivo. How is it going, Ivo Concals? Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Did you ever heard about castor oil for eye floaters? Yes, I did. I have actually tried um, castor oil, but uh, I only tried it twice or three times. Um, no benefit, but I think maybe if you use it over a long period of time, it might be. The only issue is finding organic hexane free. If you do use it, you want hexane free organic castor oil. Um, hello, Fabio Costa. Welcome to the stream, Fabio Costa. Hi, friend. How are your floaters? Um, good. No worse. Um, obviously, the black strands have got better. And obviously, the um, I have got transparent ones still. I've still got strands. But it's like, the, compared to where I was two years ago, I'm in a great place now. Obviously, there's times where they get annoying because I still have a lot. But they don't get worse each month. Basically, I don't get new floaters each month like I used to. Uh, my anxiety is about float, it's not about sugar, mate. No, look, Ali, trust me. Ali, 
what diet do you follow? That's what I want to say. Ali, how do you eat? What diet do you eat? Because when you actually do a total change, that's when you see results. Like, I know people don't want to hear it. I was in the position where you were. I was down. I had anxiety. I was pissed off. I was annoyed with the floaters. But you've got to get real and say, right, what am I eating? What am I drinking? What are you putting in your body? What are you eating? What are you drinking? Everyone can use black theme on YouTube. Yes, you've got Facebook dark mode that's rolling out soon. You've got the YouTube dark mode. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I'm actually in the dark mode. I can't show you, can I? But I'm in the dark mode. I've got all you in the dark mode. All this is in the dark mode. Sort of the live stream. I can try and um, take a photo. Um, oh, no, wait one minute. Um, where's this gone now? Hold on a minute. Now, doosh, doosh. yeah, I'm in dark mode. Look at that. You can't even tell. My phone's too bright, but look, it's dark. You see the chat's all dark? We're all in the dark mode. Dark mode, dark mode. Um, everyone can use, yes. Um, hello, King Rabar. Welcome, King Rabar. How are you doing, King Rabar? How many visible floaters have you got in your central vision? Um, right now, right now. So if I was looking right now, I'd say three strands come up, but they go down. But I have um, two transparent ones that are always in the central vision in my left eye. And then after I have six total transparent ones. But in my central vision, I have three transparent. Central vision is three transparent and one big black dot. Um, you're doing a great job, bro, to inform the masses. Yeah, I've got to help people and I love helping people and I love you helping me. We need a community. This is why it's great. I love coming on here. Some people go, how can you spend so long on this? Because this is what I suffer from and you suffer from it. So it's very important that we have a community, that how we have people talking about it, you know, because we need that sharing ideas, sharing stories. It's amazing to actually help people. There's a lot of people that don't have an outlet. They can't talk to their friends about it. They can't talk to their families about it. The eye doctor doesn't understand them. But at least on this chat, you understand her. She understands you. You understand each other. You know what I mean? Like a family, brothers and sisters, all ages, all genders, all races, religions, everything. All that's different. But we're united by one issue. So it's amazing community here. So I want to say thank you to everyone. You know, as much as you thank me, thank you all. Um, I cut my sugar. And in a low carb, about five days, my little floaters are not bothering me. Right, that is good to hear, Ali. That is very good to hear. That much big six trans floaters, usually one in my left eye. Yes, the octopus sort of um, transparent ones. They're very annoying. Now, I have them as well. Um, which supplements are you trying at the moment? Well, I'm taking them all, really. I'm sort of taking a whole load of supplements. But if I were to advise you, I would say vitamin C, zinc. Um, I do take bromelain, so bromelain as well is very important. Is there anyone killed his floaters totally with healthy diet? Yes, there is. Um, across the YouTube channel and the Facebook group, there's about maybe 30 people that have a, a total disappearance and a total reversal. Now, bear in mind, they had small black dots as well, and they had uh, they just had dots. They didn't have strands or they didn't have transparent eye floaters, but they have messaged me and said, after a month and two months, of doing diets and that they have reversed it properly there was one uh, actually uh, five five people actually did like a detox they did a liver detox and a kidney detox i've got all the messages on my messenger app um do multivitamins work it depends what you're eating um i mean which multivitamin you're having um hello dennis welcome dennis to the stream what tips do you have to cope with floaters while working on a PC with software that does not allow dark modes, e.g. Microsoft Word? Right. What I would say is, Dennis, first of all, download F.L.U.X. Flux. So it's called Flux Blue Light Blocking Filter. And this will go on your laptop, your PC, and then you can click on it and you can adjust your brightness and how much blue light is coming out. So it's called F.L.U.X. So you download Flux. And then on your phones and all your other devices, 
blue light filters that are already built in or go to the app store or the play store and search blue light blocker filter get them on your device for your laptop and computer it's free it's called f dot l u x flux download that and then what that will do is allow you to adjust how much blue light is coming out of your pc and the main thing about that is you can have it on auto so at night time it will actually just go down it goes more yellow more orange and stops the excessive blue light coming out now another thing is make sure to take breaks if your job and you're working on the pc make sure every 30 minutes look out into the distance for one minute get back to work close your eyes for a minute you know keep taking regular breaks from the pc that's the way of coping with eye floaters and preventing them getting any worse whilst working on a pc so it's blue light filters oh and how can i forget blue light blocking glasses um a link is below if you want to get these exact ones um no magnification no prescription you know blue light blocking glasses if you do wear glasses then you may have to go to an optometrist and then they can actually put the blue light filter or the spray i think onto your glasses hopefully that helps you dennis knight templar says you must give your body a break from supplements and start again in 10 days or so you know it depends what you're doing now if you're doing supplements that are like a powder from a natural fruit or vegetable that's okay but if you're doing supplements that have like preservatives and chemicals you obviously want to have a break from them you shouldn't be taking them anyway um vivek says the more united we are the more numbers we have less the time it would tight to get safe cure. exactly pressure group numbers that's what we need we need a protest pressure group with informed obviously in a, in a proper way you know not swearing not being angry telling people how we have lived and suffered and we want a non-invasive cure look you may all not agree with me but but this channel having that number having us as a community here will get us that non-invasive cure in the future um okay soul car yes soul car is very good soul car is good i don't actually take a whole multivitamin i sort of take a like individual ones from soul car so i can change it up each day should we use blue light filters on phone all the time i personally do yes i always have my brightness let me show you i have my brightness about there wait is there anything on there what does that scan qr code there's nothing you can't really get much information for now i've got to be careful i don't want to be showing anything off right um so i always have the blue light filter on my brightness about there now obviously that's because the curtains are like that it's not too bad so i always try and have it low like that and i'm always wearing these glasses really i always wear blue light blocking glasses unless i'm outside um is there problems with fried without oil food yeah fried food is terrible you want to get away from fried food because when you eat fried food it's basically dead food so when you actually eat fried food anything that's really fried um your body has these uh, immune response to it and it can actually cause a small amount of inflammation and over time it can cause a lot of inflammation so it's not good for the body because when you fry something you really actually kill it and then your body sees it as a toxin yeah there's like um leukocytes um that actually come up and even certain types of lymphocytes that actually start coming up because they look at the food and say wow fried dead food you know there's no nutrition in it you've killed the nutrition by frying it if you use a microwave get rid of that thing get it out of your house in my opinion microwave cooking is terrible you know what i mean i don't agree with it at all um can you watch television and netflix without getting distracted by floaters now um, when i'm watching netflix and television i always have these on and the brightness is at normal um but there are some times where the transparent ones will come over and i see them but i don't get distracted it's not like i watch something and then keep watching it they sort of sit if i keep my eyes straight they sort of go down one stays there but it doesn't annoy me too much um i've sent you thread on reddit about fly study on messenger awesome rafal thank you i will check that out yeah if anyone's got any information or anything that they want to send me or talk to me about do it on instagram or messenger if you really want a quick response to me instagram um at cure eye floaters and also on facebook messenger obviously link in the description to the group and then you can add me on the facebook and send me anything there um snapchat i don't use there is an account that i set up i don't use it i don't know what the password is um twitter i have but i don't really do messages on there so if you want to message me instagram or facebook is the best way to get a response 
Um, I try and get back, but bear in mind, I do get a lot of messages. Some days I can get 20 messages. Some days it can be 30 messages. And then you can imagine when you've replied to 30 people, then they reply. So then you've got 30 conversations going like this. So it can get a bit hard, but I do you know, like to give you the best value and actually talk to you one on one and reply to you. So, yeah, do bear that in mind if I take a little bit long getting back. Do you have a group in Viber? Um, you're probably not going to believe this, but what is Viber? <laughs> I don't know what Viber is. Is it like a Discord? Um, no, I don't know what Viber is. I haven't actually heard of Viber. Um, so, no, I don't have a group in Viber. Um, hello to uh, Kajit. Jill Pandey. I can say your surname, Pandey. Hello to Mr. Pandey. I can't say your first name. I do apologise. Um, I'm usually good with Indian names because I have a lot of Indian friends over here and um, <laughs> watch a lot of Indian cricketers. But your name, hmm, Kajit Jill. I'm probably saying that really wrong. That's a name that I haven't seen before. I do apologise. Um, so Mr. Pandey, I shall say to you, can I study on laptop with dark theme? with blue filters on all the time yes do that dark theme and blue light filters perfect definitely do that okay ali says will vitamin c 1k damage our body and do you take zinc magnesium vitamin c at the same time right so i don't know what you do it and i do it in milligrams mg so i take 2000 mg 2000 milligrams of vitamin c per day i take about 40 mg of zinc and magnesium and potassium i get from fruits and vegetables so i don't really take a supplement for that so magnesium potassium i get obviously from the vegetables and the fruits you know the cabbages and the broccoli um should you take it at the same time i would say take vitamin c on an empty stomach with water in the morning um and spread it out throughout the day so obviously have um 500 500 500 or a thousand and then another thousand but spread it out you want it in smaller amounts because you don't take it all at once um dots are not that bothersome they go away on their own but the strands are hard to beat 40 people killed his all floaters with diet is impressive but number is not that big Vivek's laughing. Yeah, look at Vivek laughing. All right, all right. Your name's easy. Vivek Kumar's easy. <laughs> you can pronounce Mr. Pandey's name. <laughs> you can pronounce Mr. Pandey's name like Sheetage. Sheetage. Is it really? Oh, I can say that. Sheetage. Sheetage. I can say that. Yeah. Sheetage. You are big hope to flow to sufferers as you act so normal, even with them. Exactly. That's the thing. I'm very positive and I'm very happy because I've got to be like, of course, I was down. I used to be down, but that wouldn't help anybody. If I was on the camera, uh, you know, it doesn't help anybody. You need to be optimistic and have hope. That's the only way to get anything done. And I'm complaining, moaning, never changes the outcome. Stress and worry never changes the outcome. Action does and actually doing something. This gives them a hope that they can live a normal life with certain modifications. A big thanks to you. Thank you so much, Mr. Pandey. Thank you so much, Sejit. Sheetage. I've just, I've just changed your name about five times. I do apologise. Um, caffeine is allowed in the diet. How much caffeine are you having? I only have a coffee now and again. I would say keep the caffeine low, maybe one coffee to two coffees a day. Um, you don't want too much caffeine um, because too much can, can be a little bit inflammatory. You've got to sort of keep your inflammation low as well. But if you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, you can get away with caffeine. Um, it's not a major concern. How have we been on here? One hour, 20 minutes. That is that's amazing. Thank you so much to everyone that's actually been on here. I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'll be on here for a little bit longer. I think I'll be on here maybe about 10 minutes, maybe. I'll do about 10 minutes more. It has been value, though. We've got value from this, haven't we? I did a live stream yesterday for nearly two hours. Um, so, yeah, we're getting value. People are getting the questions answered. Are you finding these helpful? I should actually ask you. Do you find this helpful? Is this sort of dialogue helpful? um kajit please join i float sufferers india group on facebook um gopher says you should make an award of one million dollars for anyone who will prove that victory is his closed system i think it could be fun <laughs> that is true very good point about that you know a lot of people are always saying the victory is a closed system but the thing is it's closed because of blood supply right blood vessels 
but no one talks about mucous membranes. No one talks about lymphatic system. No one talks about fluid. You know, in this body of ours, there's so much fluid exchange that is outside of the blood supply. So if you tell me that the vitreous is closed, I ask you and say, is it closed to all nutrition? Is it closed to all liquid? And they go, no. You see, even Dr. Jerry Seabag um, is very open about this. Um, I won't go into too much detail about that, but obviously he studied the vitreous so much. He knows about the high alloy canal. He knows about inside the vitreous, about all the different sites and there's immunoglobin. There's so much, you know, in natural vitreous humor, there's so much more than just collagen. Like it's deep stuff, like in natural vitreous humor, there's a high alloy canal. Oh, it's, it's crazy. The vitreous, there's so much about it that we don't know as well. And there's so much that hasn't been published and studied. Um, hello, uh, um, hello, Gopal. Welcome, Gopal. Welcome, Gopal. How are you doing? Um, Chillman says the key of not getting depressed is to realize that you have some role here to play to serve mankind, nature, the whole universe, God, call it whatever you want, but you want to see the bigger picture. Exactly. That's what I believe. I do believe everyone has a life purpose. I do believe everyone has a mission, and I do believe that certain issues and conditions are needed to occur so you can actually have a testimony and an actual experience to help another person. If you don't go through something, you can't give someone tips, tricks and advice. So whether that be a God, whether that be a universe, whether that be a law of attraction, whether that be aliens, whether that be Sumerians, whether that be whatever you believe in, I do believe everything. I do definitely believe in, um, you know, karma reaping what you sow i definitely believe in all that sort of stuff um advice for dry eyes and what do you think dry eyes related to floaters right dry eyes and eye floaters are not correlated they don't cause each other but i used to i actually guess what right get this a year ago a bit longer than that probably a year and a half ago i was diagnosed with dry eye syndrome which i've cured completely cured dry eye syndrome very rarely I get the odd dry eye if I've been up too late or if it's really hot. But to the key to actually treating dry eyes is, again, keep your sugar low and even your salt. You've got to focus on salt. Low salt, low sugar. Right. First of all, low salt, low sugar and lots of water, lots of hydration. But it's, what you really want is fish for the dry eyes and fish. <coughs> you want lots of fish, lots and lots of fish. Vitamin C, lots of fish and selenium. Selenium and vitamin E are very important. Selenium and vitamin E for the eyes. Um, Chillman says, I study about drugs and diseases and boy, mankind is pretty sick species. As we age, everyone gets some kind of illness. Maybe with eyes, maybe something else. Exactly. I agree. This, this, this so much sickness. And I believe that's because we've gone from the natural way. If we actually did natural law, if we lived and actually did natural life, natural law, everything would be different because we've sort of gone away from the natural and modernized this world. That is why we're causing trouble. The body hasn't modernized. The body is still natural. Your body and everything in it is still natural. But the world has changed. That's why the modernization is causing a lot of trouble. Computers, laptops, phones, all this other sort of stuff. Um, the thing is that this is our nature. We have the wrong genes and wrong environment. Absolutely. And that is why we are trying to change. We have a long way ahead of us until we evolve and become much better. For now, we do what we want and we shouldn't feel sorry if we can't solve all human problems overnight. Absolutely. Now, I won't get into much about God and creation and evolution, but we should be able to discuss that. We should be able to have opinions on that and not get annoyed with each other. I don't actually believe in evolution and things evolving, things like that. I believe a human it's always been a human. I believe a human will always be a human. I believe a monkey was always a monkey. I believe a cat will always be a cat. I don't believe my cat would have kittens that are dogs. Um, I don't believe that my dog would have a cat. Um, but that's another topic for another day. But exactly. I believe this human body should have been kept in a natural way. And all these modern devices and technologies and radiation and all this sort of stuff is causing a lot of damage to the body. Right. Um, Gopal says... Will water fasting for one day help for dry eyes and floater? Now, fasting is amazing. Um, I would say every two days and every three days, try and do a 12 hour water fast. Um, and then try and do, if you can do 24 hours and a whole day water fast, if you've had experience and you've built up to it, 
and you make sure that your vitamins and minerals are at a good level and your body can go through it, then it's okay. If you're feeling sick, if you're feeling dizzy, eat something, eat something right away. Because when you're on a fast, you want to have a fast, but you don't want to be feeling dizzy, you don't want to be feeling faint. Um, but yeah, fasting is really important. And if you're doing a fast, make sure to have green tea, uh, make sure to have water with limes and lemons, really good for the eyes. It really will help the eyes, trust me. If you do lots of water with lemon and lime, so you put the juice in the water, mix it all up, maybe, you know, let's say you have two litres of water, right? Each one of them glasses have about three drops of lemons and limes and drink that's very hydrating for the body and the eyes. OK. Um, right. I could show you my supplement drawer, shouldn't I? Let's get this laptop down here. Mm. Right, OK. Um. OK, you can't really make a, lap a laptop by becoming any cleaner. That's all right. And. If you love dark chocolate, oh, I love dark chocolate. That's keto approved. Yeah, you're allowed dark chocolate on this diet. Mm. I love dark chocolate. It's really nice. That's my snack. Um, yeah, floaters subjects on Reddit are really depressing. Yeah, that's what I hate. People are so dogmatic and just say, oh, there's nothing you can do. Why say that when there is? People just go on there and say there's nothing they can do. Then they just go and live their life. OK, now let's go through some supplements. Here's my bed. Here's my drawer. Yeah, right. And by the way, I have a few of these duvet covers before someone says, oh, that's the same duvet cover. No, it's a different duvet cover. I have a lot of animal duvet covers. Yeah, I do like animals and pets. One actually has um, different animals on. This has foxes and birds on. OK, right. Um, supplement time. Let's go through the supplement drawer. Take this pillow out, put that down there. Right, so, all right, what is the difference between collagen floaters and PVD floaters? So, right, now, collagen floaters are the black ones. So, your black strands and your black dots and anything black is collagen because the vitreous gel, the aqueous, can't be black. You can't, like, have, you know, the aqueous has to be transparent and watery. So what we see as black is the actual collagen type. But, you know, PVD floaters, they have a spider web. So they have even more collagen break off. So like they have a big spider web, right, that sort of moves over their eyes. You know, in PVD, they have like a spider web that moves over their eyes, but it drops down. Yeah, I've talked to a lot of people with PVD and have a lot of like a web float that moves across and it always goes down. Yes. Yeah. So cod liver oil and krill oil. If you want to get that, it's cod liver oil. Look at that. That is amazing stuff. If you don't want to eat fish and you don't like the taste of fish, cod liver oil is amazing. Right? Cod liver oil, little capsules like that. And they've got all the omega 3 fatty acids in. Right? That's number one. If you've only got the money for one supplement, fish oils, absolutely. Um, vitamin D, if you've got cloudy weather and you don't get enough sun. Now, if you're taking vitamin D, make sure that you have. Um, vitamin k2 make sure you take it with vitamin k2 so the actual vitamin d will absorb the calcium and then the vitamin k2 will actually get your calcium to your muscles and bones that's also very important um right so you've got ginkgo biloba if you do have ginkgo biloba only three times a week okay only three times a week because you don't want it to thin the blood too much if you've got high blood pressure then you'll probably take it four times a week or five times a week just as a recommendation. But check with your doctor, check with your doctor, check with your nutritionist, licensed medical professional. Um, digestive enzymes are very important because they have papain in, bromelain and things like that. Uh, right. Now, activated charcoal is not needed. This is a bit off topic. This is only needed if you're doing a detox or getting rid of something from your body. Very good to always have this in. You never know what rubbish you put in you. If you want to get something out quick, sea salt and um, activated charcoal. Um, will PVD floaters go away? I don't know. I haven't had a PVD, but I do know there are people that have said they've had a PVD and floaters have got better. Now, I don't know if that's a diet thing or is it just because it's gone forward and it's dropped. So I don't know, but I would say it's... People say it's easier when they have a PVD. It's weird. People say the PVD allows it to drop. It like fully goes down there. 
and they can swish it up, but it goes back down quickly. Nothing stays central. Um, what else in here now? Now this, I get a lot of questions about this. Liquid MSM. Now, in terms of supplements, this has the most success rate. So a lot of people with this success. With me personally, on its own, it didn't help. Um, but a lot of success with liquid MSM for floaters, and especially dry eyes. Whoever was on here, yeah, Kapal, dry eyes, and anyone with dry eyes, this is quite um, good for dry eyes. Now, if you are cooking um, and you're frying anything, I would say this is the best thing. If you're cooking or frying anything, you know, coconut oil it comes in a jar like this, goes hard and it goes watery depending on the weather. Coconut oil is very important. Good for your skin as well, actually. It's very good for your skin. Uh, right. So this is a major good thing. Vitamin C, obviously, I have that separately. But this has vitamin C in as well. But the main thing is hyaluronic acid. This is the amazing thing here. Yeah, this is the thing, um, type A collagen. Yes, this is the thing. With collagen, hyaluronic acid is very important and vitamin C for the actual collagen building up. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that's the main ones. That's, I've got a load of supplements down here in this drawer, by the way, but that's the main one just for eye floaters. Now, if you're doing a detox, let's say you're doing a detox, right? Now, what you'll want is wheatgrass and I don't know if I've got it in here, chlorella. I should have it in here. It might be at the back. Um, now, let's say you're doing a 24-hour fast, right? And you want to detox. Now, you want to really cleanse your body, your liver, and your kidneys. You're going to be doing this. You're going to be having this is what I use on cleanses and detoxes. I have about, I probably have about two, uh, two tablespoons of each one in the morning, afternoon, and night. Mix them in the tea or in some water. Two of these. Um, this is on separate days. This is on days like when you're not having any food or anything like that, and you're actually just detoxing and cleansing your body. Uh, right. Let's see. Aussie's in here. How are you doing, Aussie? Hi. Good morning. What's up, Aussie? How are you doing? Oh yeah, it will be really early for you. What time is it? What time is it right now? Because I'm actually on a lot earlier. Good morning to Aussie, all the way from. You're California, right? Oh, no, you're not. You're Texas, aren't you? You're Texas. What am I talking about? You're Texas, aren't you? Ozzy, you're in Texas, aren't you? I was just going to say you're in California, but you're in Texas, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you are in Texas. Um, have you seen any improvements on high hyaluronic acid? I've been taking, I've been thinking of ordering that too. Yes, yes. Very important. High hyaluronic acid is very, very important. Yes, really important because of the vitreous. What do we know, right? I believe, right? This is what I think. I believe that if we have enough hyaluronic acid, we can stop more black strands, black webs and black floats from coming. Vitamin C, hyaluronic acid and collagen is very, very important. Um, hey, bro, what's up, Samuel Tompkins? How is it going, Samuel? Thank you for being back here again. Any advice for water fruit fasting, mate? Yes. So what I want to say is this is what you want to do is over a month, right, you want to have one day where you do a 12 hour water fast and a 24 hour water fast that that's just one separate fast so you want a 12 hour water fast and a 24 hour water fast and with that you want to have sea salt you're allowed sea salt a few drops of sea salt you're allowed limes and lemons and tea that's on your water fast and then you can do a fruit fast now if you're doing a fruit fast you want to do more blueberries and grapes so I'll just stick with the blueberries and grapes maybe for one day or two days that's a real cleanse it is 9 20 a.m Good morning to you. You know what? 9.20. That's really good. You're up really early. That's fairly early in lockdown because some people in lockdown are getting up at 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. and saying good morning then. Texas brother. Yes. Yeah. I thought it was Texas. Yeah. So hyaluronic acid is very important. Can you hear the fan on my laptop? That sounds like a helicopter. Hopefully it doesn't come up here to the top of my laptop, which is the mic. The fan's really loud. Do apologize if you can hear that. So, yeah. So these are best the supplements that i always take are the ones that i take every day where are we now where did i put all of them just ordered everything wrong so every day i would always take these like obviously there's some more basically these two i take every single day every single day i take these 
Okay, what else do I take every single day? Let's go down here. What am I done with actually? No, they're the main two that I take every day. And uh, no, I don't take that. Uh, yeah, obviously I take these because of acid reflux, gurge, and any problems like that. Um, digestive problems. So I always take uh, obviously one of these before dinner. I always take one of these before dinner, and one of these before dinner. They help actually digest the food, so I always have them. And then these are the sort of main two that I take. And if you want salt, sea salt is Himalayan sea salt. That is the purest, most natural salt you can get, you know, because you don't want any other sea salt, really, because you've got to be so careful in what you do. Um, yeah, with everything. Basically, the diet that I follow in the supplements is so pure. It's the purest and natural that we can get for our time right now. Basically, I've looked into every single thing to make sure that there's nothing going to damage my body or damage my eyes. So it's like the cleanest sort of naturalist diet that we can get in this 2020. Um, how's the weather in the UK? Brilliant. The weather is amazing. Before this stream, I was sitting out in the sun, blue sky, sun, really great. Look how bright it is. It's lovely weather. 25 Celsius, 26 Celsius. So that's about 65. No, it's not. It's higher than that. It's about 80. No, it's not 80. It's about 72 Fahrenheit, 74 Fahrenheit. I think my conversion might be a bit wrong. But yeah, 25 Celsius, 26 Celsius. Um, what is cod liver oil? Basically, it's cod liver oil. So the fish cod is the oil of the fish. So it's, you know, when you squeeze out a fish, I know it sounds a bit gruesome. Basically, the natural skin oils and the oils of a fish. So when you eat a fish, you obviously get the omega-3 fatty acids. But if you want the vitamin A, DHA and EPA, which are the omega-3 fatty acids, they put it in a capsule like that. If people don't like eating fish or taking fish, um, you can get it in a capsule like that. So they put all the nutrition natural from the actual fish into that. Um, have you ever taken bilberry? I haven't taken bilberry as a supplement, but I eat blueberries every day. I have blueberries every morning, afternoon as a snack. I'm blueberries, blackberries, blueberries, lots of that. I'm always eating blueberries, always eating blackberries. Um, Gopal, I don't believe that. Gopal, I don't think there's any link. People have been trying to say that for years. Um, so Gopal, is it true? Maybe, maybe not. But I don't think there's any correlation between that Gopal, not at all. <laughs> um, Ozzy says, a bunch of people are getting positive outcomes with Bilby. Definitely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. This is the thing. This is what I'm trying to say. That's why. You know, you know, if you want to really test something, only if you've had experience, build up to it, right? If someone hasn't fasted before, don't do a 24-hour water fast. Do six hours, basically. Breakfast at 12 p.m., dinner at 6 p.m., go from 6 p.m. to 12 p.m. your next day. So now you're getting your body used to not having food and then when you want to do your fast you can go for longer without being hungry people don't realize this when you're on a fast you shouldn't be starving and yearning for food that's not what it's about um if it's if that's happening your body's not adjusted make sure your body's adjusted so you can actually do a fast and you can actually go longer without food the best way to do that is um obviously a keto diet so uh, Cheers, bro. I usually have strawberries, bananas, pineapple, mango, catch you later. Samuel, thank you so much for being in here. Catch you later. Have a great day with whatever you're doing. I wish you all the best. Thank you once again for being in here, Samuel. Take care. Bilberry is effing expensive. Yeah, don't buy bilberry. Eat bilberry. Blueberry, eat it. Um, Florian Muller says, what you think about Vitrocap N? You know Vitrocap? I have never tried it, but it's had a lot of good results. Um, Martin Aguzzi, an optometrist from the UK, tried it. He didn't have any benefit with it, but there are people that say the Vitrocap N is very good. I could buy it. I could try it. I might do that. So it is positive. Um, Vivek, please put the link of iFloat Sufferers India Group before you go away. Oh, I need to go to my tab. I'm just going to go to another tab on my laptop. So if it glitches, I do apologise. I will get that link for you. Um, you know what I'm going to start doing, Vivek? I'm going to start linking it in all my descriptions. Every single video I do, I'm going to have, obviously, iFloaters worldwide, iFloaters India, iFloaters for the different countries. So let me just get that. Sorry if it glitches. I will just get that link for you, Vivek. 
Okay, I should be wearing these, shouldn't I? Why am I not wearing these? Protect your eyes at all times. Um, Facebook's taking really long to load. That's probably because I'm on the live stream. Go to group. My media. Okay, let's go back here. Right, I think Guzzi have been taking Vitro Cap for three months by now, and he claimed he hasn't seen any proof. It's true. And Martin Aguzzi, good news here, Martin Aguzzi has joined the VDM Research Project. Martin Aguzzi has joined the VDM Research Project. So we've actually got an optometrist from the UK who has a YouTube channel in the VDM Research Project. Just some news for you. So we have um, Martin Aguzzi. You can find him on YouTube. He has his own channel. Yes, absolutely, he does. Everyone check him out. Martin Aguzzi. Make sure to go over there and check him out. Just search Martin Aguzzi. Um, and you can find him, really great YouTube channel. Hopefully I've spelled his name right, but he's part of the VDM research project now, which is great. I'm really happy to have him on board. I gave him a message actually and let him know about the VDM research project. Probably other people did as well. But yeah, a really good guy, really down to earth, explain things right. I really like um Martin, he's a really good guy. I haven't known him long. Um, but yeah, he seems really good. You know, he's positive, he's he's optimistic, and then he's gonna get behind the, and he's you know what's good, he's got the connection sort of to the medical world. So it's really good at the medical optometrist crossover. Um, we're also trying to contact Dr. Joseph Allen, Dr. Eye Health. Dr. Eye Health, Joseph Allen. We want to get him on board. Um, no luck with that yet, but hopefully we can get Dr. Joseph Allen of Dr. Eye Health, big YouTube channel, on board with the VDM Research Project. Can you imagine um, Joseph shouting out? The VDME research project that would be amazing. Fingers crossed it all works out. Fingers crossed, um, Dr. I Health will do that. That's the next step. We want to get him on board with the VDM research project. Um, yes, yeah, so we're really definitely trying to do that. Okay, let's see. Right, um, go and check out Martin Aguzzi. His subs are going to definitely go up now. <laughs> I'll probably give him a shout out in a video as well. Definitely give him a shout out as well. Um, yeah, let's give you know what I mean. We've got to give Martin a goozy. It's not easy to start on YouTube, right? And Martin's making really good content. He deserves way more subscribers. Yeah, come on, share Martin a goozy's channel out. And you know, yeah, let's get him some subscribers. We've got to help each other out. Oh, that's great news, man. Yes, Aussie. Um, Vivek says I posted his channel's link in EF. AM group also yeah I flow is action movement now the other day someone was saying do I run that no I don't so um I float is action movement is obviously run by um licks in you and I think also Jonathan Reed as well um obviously Lixon's part of the uh, Jonathan Reed and Lixon are part of the VDM project but I don't the only page I run is my I, I, I floaters obviously my group and obviously I'm part of the VDM group but I don't run the other iFloaters pages. Yeah, someone's messaging me the other day saying, where's my post gone? Where's this post? I was like, I don't run that group. I'm not an admin. I'm not a moderator. <laughs> so yeah, the only iFloater group that I'm admin for is the one in the description below, which is the iFloaters Natural Remedies and Support, my YouTube name. But yeah, big shout out to Martin Aguzzi. Um, subscribe to his channel, Optometrist from the UK. On board with the VDM project. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hopefully his subscribers go up. He's nearly at 200, actually. That's so nice. Make sure you go and sub to him. Um, yeah, when he sees 200 subscribers, that'll be good. He's at 189 subscribers now. So it's free, 33 p.m. Whoa, all the frees. Free, free, free. And Martin Aguzzi has 189 subscribers. So let's see if we can get him to 200. Um, right, always good having professional people on board. Exactly, because then the bigger organisations think, oh, optometrist, ophthalmologist, you know better so it's great we've got like dr jerry seabag and now we've got a martin aguzzi it's amazing you know let's get more optometrists on board T please tell me if i can help vdm in any way possible here in india vivek are you um part of the vdm mastermind group have you spoke to adita um 
have you messaged Adita? Because she's the manager. Definitely get in contact, Vivek, with Adita. Um, I'm on Facebook. I'll message you her link and message Adita and let her know that you want to help out with India and let her know what you're doing because then she can incorporate that. And then maybe, do you have a Trello? Are you on the Trello dashboard? Because as you're doing such good, you can be incorporated. You know, we need your help. Do you know what I mean? Um, and obviously Adita manages all sort of like the, the big side of it as well. Dr. Eye Health is a bro. Yeah, let's hope that we can get him on here. Let's hope. It would be amazing if we could get Dr. Eye Health as an ambassador. I'm sitting on my carpet, sitting on the floor, you know. Let me put my push my drawer in and we get back up to the normal place. I can't even fit this back in now. Right. No, I haven't talked to her. Right, yeah, definitely do. Um, because she's the VDM research project manager and you sort of manage everything. Do you know what's great? All these people are doing everything voluntarily. No one gets money. Um, everyone that's actually in the VDM research project is volunteering. No one has an income. No one has money. And that's how it's going to stay. We literally do this. Everyone in the VDM project does this for free because we want a cure. That's amazing. I love that. I really love that. And I love how the donations have opened up and they go directly to the VMR Research Foundation, which is obviously Dr. Jerry Seabag. And all that money will just be dedicated to eye floaters research. And then separately, we've got $10,000 from Google for advertising. So there's $10,000 from Google approved for advertising and to actually push out the, you know, VDM research project. So it's really positive. That's what I want to say. Anyone on here, fingers crossed, be happy, be hopeful, because this VDM project is, you know, it's really good. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really uplifted and feeling really good and happy about it, um, the VDM research project. Let me just go here. Okay. One minute, I'm just going to get a link here. Sorry if it glitches a bit. Let's just copy this. I'm just sending you Vivek something on Facebook. Hopefully you near the top here um, on the messenger. Wow, there's a lot of messages. Vivek Kumar, let's just find you. There you are. Vivek Kumar. Right. Right, so Vivek, I have just sent you obviously Adita's Facebook. Make sure to add her and send her a message and let her know how you want to help the VDM research project and you want to, and then also let her know about your group in India and then she can incorporate you into all that. Um, yeah. Um, do you think it's going to be safe cure anytime soon? No, not, not, not like soon, soon, but hopefully two years, three years, maybe five years, somewhere in that time, we will get a non invasive safe cure. If we can keep pushing and everything goes well with the VDM project. Um, Vivek says, nobody wants any money. I just want a cure to this problem before I... Exactly. Maybe it might help future generations. Exactly. That's what I said, right? When we first talked about the VDM research project, when it was me, Fabio, DeMarc, and originally like really small, we were all talking about VDM research project, and then it got bigger and bigger. And what I love is, even though it's got bigger and it's all professional now, still... We don't earn any money. We actually volunteer. And that's how I wanted to stay, because the thing that's driving us is the passion for a cure. The thing that we all want is a cure for eye flowers because we've suffered from it and they have suffered from it. So it's a non-invasive cure for eye flowers. And that's our goal. And the, main, the great thing is, you know, in the past, there's been many. There's been GoFundMe's. There's been lots of there's been a lot of projects that have said they're going to do things. They've never got anything done. You know why? Because they took money from people and they went away. And then the other ones just got bored. But the VDM research project is run by sufferers who want a cure. And we aren't going anywhere. The VDM research project is going to grow and grow and grow and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And trust me, one day I'll be able to come on here and say, we were successful. You were part of it. Every single one of you were part of the cure. Right. One day. One day. I look forward to that day future look into the future you know it's going to be amazing yeah so um 
yeah big shout out to everyone in the vdm research project some people might be watching now um if you are big shout out to all of you it's really good yeah it's really good so vivek yeah vivek definitely get in touch with adita because we need you in the vdm research project you know we need someone from india who's actually going to do that so yeah vivek definitely talk to adita you know write a message let her know what you can do yeah do that vivek definitely get onto that and then she just hopefully let you in and sort everything out and we can communicate in that then hopefully you can actually be on one of the meetings it'll be good if we could get you on one of the meetings as well um we could also yeah that's good i think we're going to do a meeting every month i think it might be two actually yeah prayers 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 absolutely aussie we've got to be hopeful we've got to be positive i just looked up at that time thing i'm like really but i love it you know i love helping people but i should probably call it call it a stream at two hours let's just go to two hours you know what i mean but you know what i'm really happy about we've we've talked about so many good topics you know real questions that need to be talked about real answers you know it's been a really good stream today and vivek um and ozzy and all of you here everyone here thank you but vivek and ozzy you're always in here samuel's always in here chill man's always in here you know we've got some really good people and it's great i love all of your support and comments and everything in terms of um the youtube comments i've got replying i'm going to reply to every comment that's sort of my thing. I want to reply to every comment I can get. But as you imagine, it's quite hard because I've got how many other videos, then each video gets a load of comments. But I want to reply to everyone. But I feel like this live stream is really good because I can answer straight away. Yeah. So hopefully it's a value. Hopefully people find it useful and valuable. Yeah. The best thing I ever did was start this YouTube channel. Honestly, isn't it? The best thing I ever did was start this YouTube channel. Um, are, you know anyone that's part of the VDM Mastermind group, if you're part of the actual VDM Mastermind group on Facebook, the Facebook group, you can actually replay, watch the replay of our meeting the other day. So you can actually see me on there, Fabio, Adita, everyone, and you can actually watch us all back. Yeah, it was actually really, really uplifting and nice to hear, you know, other people and that. It's really, really good meeting. It was productive. Um, Rafael says, what do you think about memes about iFloaters? Personally, I love them. I think it's a great way to cope just to make fun of it. Exactly. I agree with the memes and that. You know, when people joke and say, do you see this and that? Yeah, I think it's needed. I think it's needed. We are going to keep up with the good work. Yes. Keep up with the good work. Keep sharing the VDM newsletter. You see that link in the top line description? We need the signatures, right? The newsletter is very important for like the numbers and saying, right. This many people have signed the newsletter, so we need to keep growing it in numbers. Um, I'm just really hoping we can get some celebrities and some big eye dots on board. You know, imagine a celebrity like on a morning TV show. Wow. Imagine a skyrocket. Oh, we need that. We need it. We need to raise awareness and keep pushing. Um, who disliked the video? Shame on you for wanting to delay progress. It will happen anyway. It's just a matter of time. Chill, man. You know what? Across all my videos, to be fair, you know, they only maybe have one dislike or two dislikes. The like to, dis the like to dislike ratio is very good. But you obviously, you know what annoys me? This is what annoys me. You may not agree with me, but please support the channel. That's what I say. If you don't agree with me, stay subscribed. Give the video a like because those numbers are going to give us a cure in the future. You know, dislikes won't. Unsubscribing won't being subscribed and growing the number of subscribers, growing the numbers of views, growing the number of likes and comments on this channel and across YouTube, Facebook groups. That is the protest pressure group. That's how we can go, hey, big company, big organization, look how many people are suffering. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> um, who disliked, yeah, uh, Florian says, how many subscribers has the VDM project in the moment? I think we're around... 1450 somewhere around there 1000 definitely 1400 plus there's definitely 1400 plus people that have actually got onto the newsletter um i'm hoping so on this channel we have 1320 subscribers so i think the main majority is from this channel actually <laughs> that's the funny thing when the vgm research newsletter came out i was pushing it and pushing it so a lot of the traffic is coming from this channel so thank you all thank you all and then obviously it's Facebook and promotion. We need to get it more. So keep tweeting, keep Instagramming, all social media, VDM Research Project. Share it everywhere. Share it everywhere. Let's get this newsletter growing. Yeah, I need to just knock that off. Um, 
can't you guys go live on YouTube during a VDM meeting so that everyone gets to know what updates are to come? Just an idea. Yeah, Vivek, um, I'm obviously working with Fabio on the YouTube channel. We're hoping soon, I can't say when, but we want to launch a VDM Research Project YouTube channel. And I've got lots of ideas for that. And yeah, that's a good point. We want live discussions, live Q&As. What I really want, right, is a podcast. We want to do a podcast, right? where we actually get sufferers on, you know, so we can listen to it and we can see it. Interviews with Dr. Jerry Seabag. Um, yeah, meetings. That, that's all to come. Vivek, definitely. We definitely need to do that. You know, interaction, quizzes, polls, you know, really things like that. Um, yeah, I won't say too much, you know, what I mean, because we've got to <laughs> make sure the ideas and get out. But we, this is all just ideas, brainstorming. Yeah, it's a lot to do merchandise would be a very good way wouldn't it you know merchandise um yeah we need to figure out merchandise right for vdm research project obviously the money from the merchandise can go to the to the funds to the funds for research so that that's actually a good way you know if people don't want to just donate to the project they could buy merchandise then obviously they get something for their money and their money is used to finding a cure do you know, we could have like a VDM research project T-shirt. We could have, we could even have the slogan "Unite for Clear Vision, Cure Eye Flow." Do you know what I mean? We need merchandise. That's another good way. That's actually another good way. Uh, there's lots of ways. We've got podcasts. You know, all this is to come. There's so much we can do with the VDM research project. We're only just beginning. We're only just starting. Then we're going to grow and grow in numbers. Hopefully, all of this will be worth it. I am fingers crossed, optimistic. I am hopeful. I do believe it will be. You know, yeah. So there's lots of ideas. Vivek, you've got great ideas, so you definitely need to be in the VDM Research Project. Um, yeah, so definitely message Adita on Facebook. Let me know how it goes. Um, if it doesn't work out, then let me know, and then I'll send a message, and obviously talk to Fabio, and I'll talk to Adita, and, you know, yeah, all that. But you send the message first, and, um, sorry, I've got hair in my mouth. I hate that. You know, when you actually get hair, it's like the worst thing. Yeah, um, Vivek, definitely, obviously, message Adita on Facebook. Let her know what you're doing. Let her know all that. Um, yes, VDM should come up with a YouTube channel. That is the plan. And turn monetization on. That could also be a source as well. Absolutely. The only problem is you can't actually have YouTube monetization or adverts on your videos until 4,000 hours of watch time. So you need 1,000 subscribers, first of all, and 4,000 hours of watch time. And do you know what the worst thing about YouTube monetization now is? It's so hard to actually get because you know the 4,000 hours of watch time, you need it for the last 365 days. So obviously every day it refreshes. So you need to be a big channel. It's actually annoying. The small channels and the small creators can't actually earn money from YouTube and make money from YouTube because they don't have enough watch time and they don't have 1,000 subscribers. So it's kind of hard now, but that is a good idea. Hopefully if the grows um this channel grows to that like this channel i earn nothing i don't earn any money from this youtube channel no income zero pounds zero income no money from this channel um but maybe in the future i could think of ways that i could try and you know get money for the vdm research project obviously we want the vdm research channel to generate income and donations for it but if i can help in any way with this channel Basically, it's getting all the funds and the money to finding a cure. Every bit of income, every bit of money in the future, you're obviously thinking ahead. We need to think of ways that we can generate the income so we can do these research trials, so we can do these projects, you know. Yeah, promotion is key. Advertising, marketing, getting all that out. I think as people are involved in VDM project, we can learn a lot about promotion from Visual Snow Initiative. They created a huge movement. That is true. The Visual Snow Initiative, they did very good um wonder can i contact yeah we might need someone from the visual snow initiative to come across and help us out a bit yeah that's a very good point um rafal it's a very good point right i want to say thank you all for spending time here thank you so much for your messages thank you so much for your chats thank you for your support thank you for your ideas just thank you for being you remember this right Let, let's have a little bit of motivation here right you are one of a kind honestly there is only one you that thumbprint there, unique. There's only one of them thumbs. That print there, that's yours. There's only one of them. You're one of a kind. You're unique. And what I want to say is, 
be positive, be happy, be successful, you know, um, just, 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 you know what I mean? Be positive. I know it's not easy. I know some days are hard. I know what it's like. We know what it's like. But all we can do is be thankful. Look, we've got eyes, right? We've got vision. We can actually see. We can actually hear. There's some people that are blind. There's some people that are deaf. You know what I mean? We can actually hear. We can actually see. You know, we're breathing in oxygen. We're healthy. We've got a body. We've got a heart. We've got lungs. You get what I'm saying, right? So I want to say be positive. And uh, the future is bright in terms of eye flows. I would just answer one more question before I go. Is it possible to completely adapt to floaters? I mean, bear no stress because of them. Um, I don't think so. You can't fully neuro adapt. I don't think so. You can't fully neuro adapt. They say you can, but you can't. You can't fully blank out and like ignore floaters completely. No, sadly, you can't. Um, Vivek says, thank you, Cormac. My data for today has also exhausted. <laughs> My data for today has also exhausted. Ah, Vivek, thank you so much for all that you do. Thank you for your support. Everyone that is hearing this now, watching live or on the replay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, I shall see you next time. Look at that, two hours and two minutes. What a live stream. Thank you all for spending time here. Thank you all for taking time out of your day to be here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think I've started a new thing. I started doing a virtual one of these at the end. Don't worry, I'm not going to scare you after it. The two times that I've tried to scare people, no one's got scared. No one's got scared. No one's got scared at all. <laughs> Jason, uh, I've got to go. Jason Joseph, thank you, but I've got to go. <laughs> One punch beats. Jason, thank you so much for being here. I will see you next time. I will come on again. I will definitely come on again soon. Um, if you need to talk to me. Check the links below, Facebook, Instagram, message me. We can have a chat and I may take a little bit to get back depending on how many messages I've got. But yeah, feel free to message me and I shall see you next time. I love you all. Take care and boom. Hi. See, I'm nice. I wasn't going to scare you. Of course not. I'm not going to just jump at the camera, you know. Take care. Oh, we're going with this hand now.